And that brings us to something else we keep waiting and waiting for a solid update on in the secondary, and that is regarding the potential trade of cornerback Legereus Sneed. The Chiefs tagged him, but have given him permission to seek a trade with nothing yet coming into fruition. Well, Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated mentioned Sneed in his article yesterday saying the Chiefs had discussions with the Colts, interesting, Adam Schefter said there were no discussions, Lions and Minnesota Vikings regarding Sneed leading into free agency. Diana Russini of The Athletic said the Colts and Titans were both close to getting a deal done with him, and the Titan situation was confirmed by Matt Verderam of Sports Illustrated. Nothing has materialized just yet because Snead reportedly wants to become the highest paid cornerback in the league, and teams have struggled to come up with an offer that suffices in the eyes of Snead and his representation. Verderam went on to say that the Chiefs and at least one team, I think it was the Titans, had agreed to a trade, but Snead turned down an offer for four years, $80 million. The reason for that is most likely due to there not being enough guarantees in that offer, especially after the first two years. Snead is 27 and looking to maximize his next contract, so no shame in that. It just makes this tough when teams not only have to give up premium draft capital for him, reportedly a second is what the Chiefs would want, uh, but then also need to sign him to a deal as big as he's reportedly wanting, 22 plus million per year. Albert Breer thinks the price for Snead is probably still a second round pick, but Carrington Harrison reported this week that as of March 18th, no team had even made a second round offer. That leads me to believe if a Sneed trade does happen, it's most likely gonna be for a third round pick and maybe another later round pick. Either way, there seems to be a standstill at this point in time, and we may have to wait a bit until closer to the draft to see if a trade does indeed happen. If not, KC is reportedly prepared to keep Snead on the tag this season, and that's awesome if they can make it work, especially for the defense. It just makes money a wee bit tight while they still need to fill in needs at several other position groups. There's a need for their quarterback two, the running back room, offensive tackle, defensive end, and maybe even another cheaper than Hollywood receiver. If Snead does stay and no long-term deal is worked out, i.e. he plays on the tag and takes up 19.8 million in cap space, the Chiefs will likely need to extend or restructure a couple of players to free up some more money and then Veach and company will aim to hit as many draft picks as humanly possible to help fill these needs up.